All right, and welcome to Tabletop Arcanum. I'm Justin, and we're going to do another unboxing today. This time, I'm wearing this nice fancy green shirt because we are going to be looking at the Hulk Hero Pack from Marvel Champions. Just came out, so let's get it cracked open. I'm gonna take off the traditional ceiling sticker across the top here. First up, rules inserts, which isn't much different than the other packs because we're looking at uh, talking about the pre-made deck that's in there for the Hulk, which is a Hulk aggression deck. Uh, should be no shock there. Uh, talks a little bit about um, the Hulk itself, so d exposed to a heavy dose of gamma radiation. Bruce Banner lives a light caught between the soft-spoken scientist he's always been and the uncontrollable green monster powered by rage. Uh, credits, and on the back they've been putting these uh, little poster arts for everybody too, so that's always been fun. Well, that's not really why we buy these things, it's for the cards. So let's take a look at what's in the Hulk pack. And let's take a little bit closer look because we got several things. First up is the Hulk identity card himself. Uh, this is a 0 throw, 3 attack, 3 defense, Avenger, Gamma, keywords, enraged, force interrupt, when your turn ends, discard your hand. Uh, he has a hand size of 4 and hit points of 18. He's uh, pretty tanky. It's the Hulk, we should not be surprised. But to every hero is the alter ego. So Bruce Banner on the flip side, genius scientist, keywords, uh, experimental research action draw a card. Choose and discard one card from your hand. Limit once per round. With the classic Hulk uh, catchphrase, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Uh, his hand size is five on this side. So a little bit on the smaller side of things. Let's take a look at some of the Hulk specific cards. So these are going to be the ones that are always included in Hulk. You get a pair of crushing blows. The crushing blows here. Uh, one cost event. Here a resource icon or a strength base icon there. You can only spend strength resources to pay for this card. I feel like a theme coming along here. Uh, hero action attack. So deal damage equal to your attack. So this is how you're going to get extra attacks out of the Hulk, doing more and more and more and more damage. So we get two copies of that. You also get two copies of Hulk Smash. Three cost events. Superpower Hero Interrupt. When you would make a basic attack, you get plus 10 attack for that attack if you paid only um, strength resources for this. It gains overkill, which is that fun? You can punch a minion and it'll go straight over anything excess, would go straight to the uh, villain. So that's actually a, a fun card to play with. I feel like we're going to have so much Hulk attack cards here. And not much to deal with for, but we'll find out. Two copies of Suborbital Leap. Because uh, that is one of Hulk's powers with the strength of just being able to loop places. Uh, this is a hero thwart action. You can move three threat from a scheme. Five if you only pay with strength resources. So I was talking about a way to deal with some threat. Here it is. Uh, but definitely want to pile up the strength resources. Now, every Hulk card has been uh, strength resources. We'll get to one that isn't, but everything else is. Now another classic Hulk attack here is the Thunderclap. We get two of these as well. So, three cost event, hero action, choose up to three different enemies, deal three damage to each of them. That'll get rid of some of those pesky minions for you too. 
no restriction on that one to deal with the, the strength only resources. Another event, Unstoppable Force. So as a hero action ready Hulk, if you paid only strength resources to pay to play this card, you will draw one card on top of it. So the nice thing about this one, you got uh, the kicker if you only pay with the strength resources, but it is still a good ready card. Alright. Now, of course, nothing beats Hulk's limitless strength, so only in hero form. This is a Resource card, three strength icons. Uh, we saw Carol Danvers have her three energy, which is huge, uh, especially with her power ups. And now we get Hulk with his three strength. And so far, we've seen a lot of cards that require strength be paid for. So we can even already say that covers your Hulk smash right there in one card. So you can get your plus 10 attack with a limitless strength. And you get two of those. Now, this is the only one that doesn't have a um, strength resource card on there. This is your Banner's Laboratory. This is a two-cost support. Uh, Bruce Banner gets plus two recovery. His uh, initial recovery, again, was four, so this gets it up to six. We'll really allow Hulk to take some beating and then uh, quickly recover with as your Banner. Alter Eagle resource. Uh, you can exhaust the lab to generate a science resource. Uh, this is a unique item, so you only get one of those in there. Another one of, this is an upgrade for Hulk's hero form only. Hulk will get plus one attack, and as a force response, after you change form, you must discard this card. So this is going to lock you into that Hulk mode. But, plus one attack is uh, pretty good. And last card, 15 of his pack, Immovable Object, three cost upgrade. Uh, you get plus four hit points. This would bring you to a total of 22 hit points, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, and you also get Retaliate One, which is also awesome. So combine this with uh, your other upgrade of Boundless Rage, and all of a sudden you have a 22 hit point Hulk that has extra attack and retaliate. So big, big brutal Hulk there. Now he's also got some other cards in his deck. Let's take a look at his. Before we get to the pre-filled deck cards, we're going to stop. And we'll take a look at the rest of the Hulk package because every hero has their obligations in this game. So it's something that you have to personally deal with. And Bruce Banner has his inner demons. So you give to the Bruce player. Uh, whoever gets this, I will give it to the Bruce Banner player and you will change form, flipping your identity. Then, if you are a banner, you will discard two cards from your hand, discard the uh, obligation, but if you flip to Hulk, you will ex exhaust your hero and discard this obligation. So this is a lot of obligations. We're not removing it from the game, we're just gonna take a pen depending on what form we're gonna be in. And hopefully you won't get that as a boost, that's a three booster. Now, uh, Shadow Pass, you, Hulk has his own personal nemesis. This nemesis is the Abomination. So, Elite Gamma 6 health, forced response. After the Abomination attacks you, discard the top card of your deck. If it is a strength resource, take two damage. So, we've already seen Hulk wanting to get a lot of strength resources to pay for his kickers on his cards. And this is going to be that uh, kicker back at you for building your deck in such a way. Um, it's going to be me, not going to lie. Three attack and two schemes, so it ends up being a five attack at that. Hopefully you get your uh, extra hit points out. Now, um, Abomination does come with his scheme. The side scheme, uh, two threat per player are going to be placed on it and gives an extra encounter card per round. And this is total destruction, so threat cannot be removed from the scheme while Abomination is in place. So you gotta take care of Abomination before you can get rid of your total destruction. And finally, you get a couple copies of Clash of the Titans. There's three of these. So Treachery, Clash of the Titans. When reveal the enemy with the highest attack, uh, attacks the hero with, or ally with the highest attack. First player decides ties, no attack was made, gain surge. 
So, realistically, if Hulk and Abomination are out there, they're probably going to go at it, but this could mix it up depending on who you have out and what attack values are, are sitting out there. And you get three of those to tangle with once your uh, nemesis gets put into the deck. Uh, there's the, of course, Divider card, the Hulk deck list. There's nothing really fancy about there, but if you ever want to get back to the pre-con, that is how you can do it. Now, let's go through some allies. We have three new allies sitting in here for aggression. First up is Brawn. It is Amadeus Cho. Uh, identity. This is a champion, Gamma. Responds after Brawn attacks. Remove one threat from the scheme. And he has a one threat, one attack. Five hit points, that's a lot. That's actually a, a big thing for him. A lot of uh, Hulk's allies in the comics are full of these super strong individuals. And we're going to see some of those, like the Sentry. Four cost ally. He is an Avenger. Uh, force response after Sentry enters play under your control. Uh, deal yourself one encounter card. Uh, so you take a little bit of a penalty, but... And the benefit it is a two throat three attack five health um ally that not bad i'd love to see the sentry actually come into play as a, a playable hero too we got so many heroes to 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 get still but that would be cool she hulk gets her own ally card finally now she's a core new hero so if uh she hulk is actually being played at the table um you won't be able to play this card but you can still spend her as a uh, strength resource, which Hulk wants anyway, so not a bad thing there. Now, this is a four cost ally, two thwart, but takes two um, damage in replication from that, and she's a one attack. Now, she's got the star kicker, so for each damage token on her, she'll get extra attack, so that can be pretty powerful. She Hulk gets more mad and beats up bad guys more as she gets more damage. New card going on here. This is a three of in the deck. So drop kick event, three cost, hero action attack, deals four damage to an enemy. If you pay for this card using only strength resources, stun that enemy and draw a card. So not specific to Hulk, but definitely part of his uh, package. And another three of, toe to toe. So this is a one of a uh, one cost event, hero action, attack. Uh, choose an enemy, that enemy attacks. You deal five damage to that enemy. I can see a couple of fun uses for this, especially if uh, you're looking at blocking with She-Hulk to power up and then have her punch back later. Get three of these, this is a uh, one cost event, you'll pay for that. Hero response as a thwart. After the hero attacks you, remove one threat from the scheme for each damage you took up to a maximum of five. So combo this with toe to toe where the enemy attacks you, you deal the five damage and then you can throw a hero response after the enemy attacks you to thwart. So good to play some fun combos with those two cards already. Uh, not new, but we do get two more copies of Power of Aggression. Martial Prowess, three of these. This one is a two cost upgrade. Play under any player's control. I always like seeing those, max one per player. As a resource, you can exhaust it for a strength resource for an attack event. So it's a very specific resource that you get to do. But um, looking at all of the attack events that are already in Hulk, that's what you're gonna want in their deck anyway. Extra strength resources. Or any aggression deck's gonna have a lot of fun with that too. Get some uppercuts, get some uh, other fun cards going on. To the rescue, this is a neutral two cost event. And our first neutral card of his deck, and only a new neutral card. But Thwart, uh, hero action, with two threat from a scheme. Always a good way to 
find a way to get rid of some threat. I can see that being fun in a lot of decks, um, especially aggression decks that don't have a lot of access to the throat. Uh, we get our copy of Energy, and Genius, and Strength. No real surprises there. They're just the two co or two resource cards. And then to round it off for some extra generics, a Helicarrier and Avengers Mansion. Those are all core game things, but the idea behind these hero decks is this deck is perfectly playable, so we do get some of these repeats. Um, but ultimately, uh, we got the three resources, the two location uh, supports, so that's five, and the two power progressions. That's seven cards total that uh, we have already seen, but the benefit of that is that helps round out the deck. So you're going to want those anyway. Now, every hero deck does come with some other cards. So that uh, if you're not an aggression player and you still want to play some other things, there are still other toys in here for you. Just to round them out, we get our Beat Cop. Uh, when I saw this one initially, I thought the uh, Beat Cop from Arkham Horror. And it's a little bit similar. So a three cost uh, support as an action, you can exhaust Beat Cop to move one threat from the scheme to here. So the Beat Cop can take care of some threat. But more so, you can exhaust and discard Beat Cop to deal one damage to a minion for each threat that has been placed on it. So let the Beat Cop take some threat away. There's no limit to how much threat they're there. And then the Beat Cop can take someone out really well. And you get a full place under those, so three copies of that. Now, next up is Inspiring Presence. Um, actually, I like the fact that they're using Ultimate Thor here. But in the card art, and this one is a one cost event, uh, leadership trait, and only play if you identity has the Avenger trait. But you get the hero action hero one damage from an ally and ready it. Uh, and leadership already likes its allies, so why not? Toss more allies for more ally support in leadership. Never gonna say no to that. Next up for protection, electrostatic armor. This is a new armor and a new tech, so uh, a protection Iron Man would love to, to fish for this too. Play under any other player's control, uh, under any player's control, max one per player. And as a response, you defend against the after you defend against an attack, deal one damage to the attacking character. Kind of gives you a uh, way to get some retaliate, but not actually have the retaliate keyword, which is all right. And last card in the pack is going to be a basic re uh, upgrade, one cost called Resourceful, which allows you to resource, discard Resourceful, and generate a wild resource. Now, it is a wild resource in your hand, so you can play it on pan and pay for things as that. But this is actually really cool for those turns of, you're not exactly sure you, you, know, uh, you kind of pay it for future-proof one of your turns. Because you can play it down for one, and then all of a sudden you have a wild resource in your play area ready to go whenever you need it. So there you have it. Um, quite a bit of cards. I get 60 total cards, a lot of it new, only seven of them are repeats. And this is the Hulk Champions Hero Pack, so that's available on the web stores, as well as your friendly local gaming store should be able to carry it now, as it is out as of today. I want to thank you for watching, and as always, please make sure you uh, subscribe, make sure you get notified about these videos as we do more unboxings, uh, we'll be doing playthroughs. And uh, coming soon, we'll be doing more video, uh, setting up some video reviews. And you can find Tabletop Arcanum on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, uh, Facebook, pretty much all of those areas. So once again, thank you very much, and we will see you next time.